The sun rose over Little Farmer's Key and we set sail on another beautiful day in the Exumas. We traveled two hours in calm conditions through narrow channels and shallow water, passing by various islands including Musha Key, the private island resort owned by magician David Copperfield. We arrive to our next stop, Ruddercut Key, also owned by Copperfield. He owns 11 islands in the area. We dropped our anchor and set off to see the underwater mermaid sculpture commissioned by Copperfield and sunk near the island in just 15 feet of water. We met this really cool couple, Michael and Nikki, at our last stop at Little Farmers. And now they're here in Rudder Cut. We're gonna head over to this cave over here and have some drinks. Cave party. <laughs> We were hanging out in the cave having a good time, then all of a sudden Nikki spotted a snake swimming straight towards us. We all jumped up and the snake then climbed our outboard and into our dinghy. Unfortunately I didn't capture it on camera. Nikki was the only one brave enough to get it out, so she grabbed an oar, got the snake and threw it back into the water. The snake wasn't very happy though and started coming at us again until it finally left us alone and slithered up the wall of the cave. We took that as our sign to call off the cave party, so we rafted up our dinghies and floated out into the bay.
The current pushed us all the way out until we reached this really cool tiny island called Dove Key. At high tide there's two small islands side by side and at low tide the two are connected by a sandbar. We loved this little spot so much, we decided to go back the next day for a little beach barbecue. We just got to our own little private island. We're waiting on our friends. We're going to do a little barbecue. And uh, while we can right now, we're going to walk over there because it's low tide. And you can get over there right now. And the water's just starting to come in. We are leaving Rudder Cut Key and we're about to go out of Rudder Cut. This is our first time going out of a cut, which is basically a channel between two islands. So you have to time it right uh, because the current can rip through there, especially when the current and the wind oppose each other. So we're trying to leave right at high tide, so theoretically there shouldn't be much current right now. We'll see, but it's going to be a little rough. So. Going through the cut was not all that bad. We timed it correctly and got through pretty easily with no issue. But things only got worse from there. Out in the ocean we were beating into the wind and the wave height and period between waves was much more severe than what was forecasted. It was our most uncomfortable day of sailing yet, leaving us seasick, the cats miserable, and us a little less confident as sailors. Rolly out here. 
gotten seasick quite yet. I'm feeling a little nauseous. Very bumpy. And I've got about 30 miles of this. So, not the best day, but uh, I guess it could be worse. Georgetown and the Exumas. Uh, we had a rough day. It was not pleasant and very humbling and we have been very sick all day. So yeah, we're not having the best day. We were just pulling into Georgetown and we were about to take our sail down, slowed the engine down and the engine went out. Keegan thinks it's the Transmission. Transmission, no forward or reverse. So now we have no we have steerage, but we have no power. So we are trying to keep the sail up and sail into an anchorage and get anchored. And now just add it to our exciting day. <laughs> 